you plot. Except for you, Kale. You plot. And I love you for it. I used to not plot. I would start just with a sentence and then another sentence and then eventually I'd have a paragraph and then some things happened and I would just keep writing until there was some kind of ending and then I'd have a short story. This is not a very conducive way to write, especially if you plan to write frequently. It can be very exhausting and you spend a lot of time revising things, which is why I would go through like 20 drafts for a short story that I needed to turn in in a week. Then I had a wonderful experience. I took a script writing class and as part of the script writing class, you had to outline. Since that was part of what we had to do and it forced me to outline, I learned a lot about plot. Plot is not the same thing as story. Plot is the physical things characters do to get from A to B to C. The story, for example, in like Star Wars is Luke becomes a Jedi. But the plot is Luke leaves Tatooine, he joins the Rebellion, they fight the Death Star. It's those events that make the plot. But the plot is actually the physical movement through the story. And I don't know how to write without plotting out that physical movement anymore. And I think that's actually a good thing because I think my writing has really improved because I have such a better idea of how a plot hangs together that you need to be able to have those action bits that move your character physically through the story while they are also emotionally moving through the story. And that's the more nebulous one. Whee! So I think some amount of planning has to go in before you sit down to write. At least that's the way it works for me. And I normally just kind of start with a rough list of things that I think are going to be in the story. I tend to write little dialogue. Um, sometimes I'll write a little scene that's maybe like in the center of the story or near the end. But I do have some kind of structure before I sit down to write because I find that very helpful. I need to process. Sometimes stuff has to be processed, like cheese. Plots are like cheese, they need to be processed. I'm turning into AUK where I'm relating writing things to food, except I don't have any cheese so I can't demonstrate and I don't have time to go run out and get cheese. I don't want cheese. The organic part of plotting, the non-cheese part, always happens while I'm writing, where I might decide that my ending was all crazy talk and I need to redo all of that. But I always go back to my outline, whatever form it is, if it's just bullets or if it's an actual outline, and revise from there what events I previously had and figured out what events I should have after that now that I have the new non-crazy ending. Uh -huh. So that's how I plot. That's how I do it. I know how the other nerds do it. I wanna know how you do it. Leave a comment. Leave a video response. We like those. We actually watch them. See you next week.